Looks like we got a new look at Spider-Man No Way Home. Check this out here. What's going on everybody? It's Warren. Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder and today we have a brand new look at Spider-Man No Way Home. An awesome look with Doc Ock and Spider-Man. This was released just got this morning, not too long ago, and it is by Empire Magazine. The full entire article for Spider-Man is coming out tomorrow. So this week and next week, expect a lot of Spider-Man No Way Home news. Of course, when I'm trying to be on vacation, visiting family, but no worries. I'll still be covering everything you need to know about Spider-Man No Way Home. And today we actually have some pretty big confirmations about Ant-Man 3. Got a tiny Spider-Man No Way Home trailer mm. update for you today, of course. Plus, we've had a lot of Spider-Man No Way Home plot leaks and if you've taken a look at all of them you might have noticed that all of them that seem to be coming from somewhat legitimate sources all seem to have a common theme and that common theme is a particular scene involving a death. And the Empire Magazine article has actually been leaked ahead of time, which I'm not going to talk about until tomorrow when it comes out because they paid to have that exclusive. However, there is one point that I would like to mention in this video. So if you're loving Marvel and Spider-Man No Way Home, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Also, we are giving away a Spider-Man action figure, a Bring Variants Arts figure. It's super awesome and all you have to do to enter is subscribe to my channel and the channel Cosmic Culture and leave some comments on some videos. Okay, so first things first, we have to talk about this amazing photo that was just released. This photo may remind you of Spider-Man 2, as Doc Ock has Spider-Man caught with his robotic tentacles. He's actually only using two tentacles here, one to wrap up his body and the other to hold his head. Now, luckily, Spider-Man has on the Iron Spider suit. However, I'm pretty sure Doc Ock is going to tear that apart. Now, we actually know that <laughs> Spider-Man is going to have Guess multiple we'll suits during this movie. One of them is going to be a magically enchanted suit. And perhaps right, one of the reasons right, right, that he right, gets right. a new upgraded suit is that Doc Ock tears his Iron Spider one apart. Which means that Doc Ock and the other villains could actually arrive pretty early on in the movie. The spell is probably mm. going to be done way early into the first act, which means the villains could probably pop up pretty early as well now this is a sick shot but check out what is written down below in the right hand corner i believe this is coming from director john watts it's a quote that says spider-man no way home isn't just a sequel it's a massive meta multiverse outing in which peter parker finds himself fighting iconic villains from past lives as its creator tells us this is nothing less than spider-man endgame Okay, um, the fact that they're calling this Spider-Man Endgame gives me the chills, but no, they didn't come out and say that Toby and Andrew are in the film, but to me, this kind of says it. They literally say it's a meta multiverse outing in which Peter finds himself fighting iconic villains from past lives. How are you going to pull off mentioning past lives if you don't explore those past lives? And obviously, our Tom Holland's Peter Parker does not have past lives, but the others do. He's literally talking about Spider-Man's past lives. Tom Holland does not have past lives, but Tobey Maguire does, and Andrew Garfield does as well. There is literally no other meaning to Peter Parker's past lives than Tobey and Andrew, the films that came before him, the past films. <laughs> to me, this is pretty much all the confirmation that I need. Now we just wait on that second trailer and hope that Sony and Marvel give us a little tiny tease of the other two Spider-Men. Now we have more Spider-Man news, but first, let's talk about something truly epic. Bill Murray has officially joined the MCU. It is okay. confirmed. Now, there was a report about this, I think maybe a couple of weeks ago from the Cosmic Circus. They said they noticed that Bill Murray's name had been on a cast That's list a for Ant Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Now, of course, until somebody at Marvel Studios or someone from the cast confirms this themselves, it's just a rumor. However, Yesterday, it seems like Bill Murray confirmed it himself. He was in an interview, not about the Marvel movie that he is going to be in, but an interview where he did say that he recently filmed a Marvel film. The interview was with a German newspaper, and the interviewer, Patrick Heidemann, posted on Twitter some of the details. He asked Bill Murray, Is it especially important for you to work with people you know well and like? In which Bill Murray replied with this, You know, I made a Marvel movie recently. I'm probably not allowed to tell you, but whatever. Anyway, some people were pretty surprised why I decided on a project like this, of all things. But for me, the situation was completely clear. I got to know the director and really liked him. He was witty, humble, everything you want from a director. 
And with the cheerleader movie Bring It On, he had already made a film years ago, which I think is dang good. So, I agreed. Even though, as an actor, I'm not normally interested in these huge comic book movies. So, there you have it. Bill Murray confirms he filmed a Marvel movie. And for those of you who may be curious as to what that movie is, it is Ant-Man 3. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, as I mentioned in the beginning. And that is actually confirmed in this article, as Peyton Reed was the one who directed Bring It On, and is now directing Quantumania. So, huge confirmation for the MCU and Ant-Man 3 right Bill now. Murray and we also have another pretty big confirmation. confirmation. Like Again, one that some people to say probably already funny, guessed by now, but to have funny. confirmation. In or a just recent interview, Jonathan funny. Major spoke out, and he mentioned that he who remains will not be in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Mm -hmm. It is going to be Kang, and there is a difference, a big difference. Now, again, we already knew this, and again, Loki made it pretty clear that he who remains was a very different version than a lot of his variants. Right. He even said, if you think I'm evil, wait till you see my variants. If you think I'm evil, well... Just wait. Till you meet my variants. Of course, during Loki, he did also mention that he has been called a conqueror. So at one point in time, he could have been the person known as Kang the Conqueror. But of course, there are going to be multiple different variants of Kang as well. But the most important part to note is that Kang the Conqueror is probably one of the most brutal versions of He Who Remains. And that is the confirmation that we are getting from Jonathan Majors, stating in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, we are going to That's get a, a pretty picture. mild and calm <laughs> He Who Remains, but we are going to be getting a destructive Kang. One who wants to conquer. Now we have a lot of Spider-Man No Way Home news today, but of course I would not leave you without news about that trailer. This is an interesting story, and a recent tweet from the official Twitter account With Great Power, which is a book that is about the story of live-action Spider-Man, one of the writers, Sean O'Connell, tweeted from there talking about the trailer. He said, A lot of people somehow missed my point. There's a high probability that you will get a second Morbius trailer before you get that anticipated Spider-Man No Way Home trailer. Whether you well, want it or that not, first Morbius now, trailer should be good. taken as so, a rumor right now. Yeah. Because even Sean himself says there's a high probability. It is not confirmed. However, the marketing has been so weird and different for Spider-Man Far From Home, I would not be surprised in the slightest if this is indeed true. It seems like Sony does have some type of a plan for their own Spider-Man universe, even though their Spider-Man kind of isn't in it right now. Who knows? Maybe their plan is dependent upon Spider-Man No Way Home. So, if the Morbius trailer does drop sometime soon, be on the lookout for that Spider-Man No Way Home trailer, and of course I'll update you as well. Now, as I mentioned, we have two other big things to talk about. One is that Empire Magazine article, which I'll talk about last, and the other one is about what some plot leaks are saying. There is a major death scene, according to these, and it's with somebody that you are definitely not going to want to see die. However, if this is true, I can kind of see what it's going to be setting up for the future of Spider-Man. Now, of course, these are not confirmed to be true yet. They are just rumors, but in case they are true, I am issuing a spoiler alert. If this does indeed come true, it's a pretty big scene. So many reports and plot leaks posted on Reddit have some things in common, and one scene that they have in common is Aunt May dying. In case this is true, I won't say much about the scene. However, I will say that I could understand why this would happen, because rumor has it that at the end of Spider-Man No Way Home, Doctor Strange's spell finally works, and everybody, and I mean everybody, forgets that Peter is Spider-Man. Now, this may sound extreme, but fans have actually been complaining for a pretty long time now that we haven't seen Spider-Man on his own. He's always had help, he's always had some type of a mentor. He's had Tony Stark, now he has Doctor Strange, and of course the other two Spider-Men. This was kind of upsetting for some people because we want to see Peter on his own, taking on all of these challenges by himself having to step up. Well, if in the next Spider-Man, May is gone and nobody knows who he is, he is definitely going to get that chance. Seems a bit extreme, but we'll have to wait and see. Now, last but not least, even though we did get this picture from Empire today, some parts of the magazine did leak. And although they didn't come out and say, hey, Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield are in this movie, they do reference the Sam Raimi universe and the Web universe, stating that the villains come from this universe. And if the villains come from this universe, then we can imagine that some heroes come from that universe as well. Again, What's the, the Web comes universe? comes out tomorrow, and I'll be doing a full coverage of that. In the meantime, let me know and what why you do think they call about it this the brand web new picture of Doc. 
talk oh, of is that who, uh, Spider-Man in the mind. comments down below. And also never let mind. me know what you think about this possible death of I'm thinking Man. web, web. Down below. Don't forget to like this video. And for live updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof Woof. Is that who directed the Amazing Spider-Man? Amazing Spider-Man director. Amazing yeah. Spider okay. I'm sitting here like... All I could think of is the comic books, Web of Spider-Man, Spectacular Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man. I'm like, Web? That's interesting that the director's last name is Web. I never paid attention to who was directing it way back when it came out. But anyway, um, yeah, he's gripped up. I don't know if uh, uh, Doc Ock is going to tear that suit apart or not, but for him to get an enchanted suit or whatever... He definitely going to need more than just technology to handle whatever's coming through. Um, Aunt May dies. Okay. Uh, I'm expecting her. Or um, I was always expecting either maybe her or uh, Toby. That's what a lot of people think. Yeah, you know I mean. I'd rather him not die in this. I'd rather him die later in another one, but whatever. If this is Spider-Man Endgame, this shit's gonna be huge, man. It's gonna be huge. It's gonna be huge. Huge. Met Spider-Man. Great guy. Great guy. It's gonna be huge. Post comments down below. Let me know what y'all thought. Make sure you subscribe to Cosmic Wonder. Tell them Tyrone Magnus sent you. Smash that thanks button. Hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Two million subscribers. <laughs> Woo!